and we're back to learning HTML and this time I'm going to show the field set element. It's an element used for forms and it's going to group related form elements and then it's going to draw a box around them by default. Usually you want to have the form tags like this and nested inside is your field set. When you do it like this you can already see the default box that's being drawn. So it looks like this. And now depending on how many objects or elements you nest inside the box will grow. Let me just add a simple input field for the name. Let me make it about first name. And obviously the type value is there for text. So the default type, let me call the name a first name. And now if I refresh it, we have an input field in our field set and the box has grown. For the most part, you have a label that's connected to the input where there is some text in this case first name before the input field first name. So it looks somewhat like this. You can also use a legend for your field set. So it's going to put text inside of this box outline and it looks like this. And in most cases you also want to nest your input of type submit inside of the field set. So where the actual submit button is. So let me add that as well. I'm making a lot of typos today, but now it should be fine. When it comes to attributes, I've seen, but rarely seen, but I have seen that the disabled attribute is used. So it's going to disable all of the nested elements, in this case the submit button and the first name input. By default, it's obviously enabled. But when it comes to styling the field set, you use CSS. And this is how you can use the field set tag in HTML. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.